300 kilometers west of Beijing, lies a city called Dantong. Perhaps forgotten as time passed, this city was once the political and cultural center for northern China 1,600 years ago. In 398, the Xianbei people of northeastern China established their capital here. Out of reverence for Buddhism, they began digging grottos. Over a span of 60 years, craftsmen from across China and Central Asia dug dozens of caves along a one-kilometer mountain ridge and crafted tens of thousands of Buddhist statues that constitutes the main features of Yungang grottos. Neither the elements nor the passage of time could erase their former glory, and the Yungang caves continue to bear witness to the cultural integration of different civilizations in history. As one of the world's major Buddhist stone carving art treasures, the Yungang grottos attract millions of tourists every year. In recent years, people who revisit Yungang are always surprised by its new additions, like the giant flower pot made from coal carriages, cabins made from drainage pipes, and park benches made from mining carts. The new facilities bring a strong sense of the industrial age, are in harmony with visitors, and provide convenience. Where do they come from? Datong's rich coal reserves made the city an important energy center after the founding of New China. However, since the year 2000, due to a new awareness of environmental protection, tourism has become a new mode of urban development. It has made large amounts of steel and cement in Datong obsolete. But in the eyes of Zhang Jiu, none of these materials should go to waste. For Zhang Jiu, these materials are treasures that can be used to shape a new environment. He makes the designs himself, and that is how the first sculpture called Responsibility was born. Workers also got involved with recycling waste products in this creative process. With more and more practice, each project emerged with more ingenious designs. The image of the Taiho Pagoda is copied from the leaf in Yungang's Grotto No. 6. It is made of recycled steel and recreates the classical image of the pagoda from the Northern Wei Dynasty. These huge drainage pipes are combined to make a cozy snail-shaped apartment, a favorite stay for students on study tours. History is an ever-repeating cycle. Archaeologists found that when the Yungang grottos were built, the mountains were sculpted to form the caves and statues, and all the excess stones and gravel were transported and used for the construction of the river dam, the mountaintop temple, and the structures in the city. Nothing is wasted. Yungang has witnessed Datong's urban transformation. While the remnants of the great industrial eras are arousing boundless imagination, creativity today. The plain idea of sustainable development has long been a part of Chinese culture. When facing limited resources on earth, Chinese people's reverence for life and nature has stayed unchanged all the time.